Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes and welcome to my channel. Welcome to my studio and uh, yes, again today I have yet another Dollarama haul for you. Dollarama is a chain of dollar stores that we have here in Canada. Their items range from one to four dollars and I like shopping there because I'm always in search of supplies for creating things. And it, I'm always amazed at what I will find in Dollarama and other dollar stores in my area. So here is what I hauled this this week. So uh, I went in specifically looking for a few items for my garden. Because yes, I, if you didn't know this, uh, I do love to garden. I used to garden even more than I do now. But now with work, it's... It's a little harder to get it all in uh, but I always have loved gardening and flowers and such so uh, I love going to Dollarama for their gardening stuff and actually now that we're mid-June and uh, there's not as much stuff as there was at the beginning of spring so but I found this beautiful metal box and they they also have these with different sayings this one says seeds twine uh, tools so which is very appropriate for gardening for to put in a gardening shed or my greenhouse or anything like that and they do have the same style of tins for a kitchen so they have some that will like they have some tall ones that say pasta they have others uh, for the laundry room so if you're into that like farmhouse decor uh, these are perfect for that so these tins with the lid are four dollars and I want to show you what I put in here I will be storing as I am now some plant clips and this is another thing I needed and I purchased a Dollarama these are plant clips they're like rounded off clothes pins yeah, if I, yeah. but they're for the plants and you get in here 10 small clips and eight big clips for a dollar 25 so i got two packs of that and these are great for um attaching like tomato plants to the uh, stakes and stuff for helping them stay off the ground and growing so i got that another little item that i picked up that i thought would be a really cute pot cover perhaps maybe uh, even add some decorations in there to make some sort of fairy garden it is this metal bucket I guess yeah and I just like it because of the pink and it has some pretty uh, embossed or debossed <laughs> um, I should say stamped it has some pretty stamped butterflies and blades of grass in white I, I love the color I want to put this right outside my studio and this lovely large metal flower pot that's what they call it is three dollars let's show you this is the label for the gardening items at Dollarama so I got that and as I walked down the same kept going down that aisle they had a lot of like little gnomes and all sorts of little garden decorations and this one caught my eye and I just thought I'm gonna call him peeping Tom Tommy the turtle peep the top the peeping Tommy the turtle <laughs> he's got his what do you call that like telescope it's a massive telescope there i'm sure he's pointing it at the stars and the planets and it's solar activated so during the day um this the the, the ah! during the day little tommy gets charged by the sun and at night this lights so i thought i might put tommy in here with some flowers so that was the gardening stuff and I saw this in the cosmetic health section 
Uh, these are our new, uh, the, that, well, this is a Dollarama that I don't go to as often, so it's the first time I've seen it there. Or I've never seen this at other, another Dollarama that I go to. It's a Lori Cosmetic Organizer. It's got three bins. It's a really thick uh, acrylic. It's got some little handles. It has these non-slip little pads here on the bottom, and it has some grooves underneath. And so this is $3. And I know that acrylic organizers uh, for cosmetics and even the acrylic organizers for refrigerators and stuff are much more expensive usually in like other stores. So that, I thought that was a good deal. I picked up a few little Canadian icon, well, Canadiana things uh, because now's the time since uh, July is coming and we will celebrate Canada Day and also um, the there's always like a Canadian souvenir aisle in in the Dollarama and now there's even more because of Canada Day coming up so I just thought it was a good time for me to stock up on some little Canadiana items that I can give to uh, friends that come visiting or when I go visiting somewhere so I got these little zipper poles with the Canadian flag on them and they are a dollar fifty each uh, so this is something small and easy that I, to mail or for me to bring in my luggage and I got a package of Canada pencils because who doesn't need to use a pencil once in a while and you get ten of these for a dollar twenty five and I believe that is all for my little Canadian gifts. I just thought I would stock up on a few things. And, oh, as I was cashing out, I thought, I was like, oh my goodness, this is so practical. I came across these. They're only in French and in Spanish. That's interesting. Are, there's nothing. Yeah, oh, no, there's a little bit of English. English is the third language on this. That's funny. Um... Pansy, these are, oh, you can't really see, these are foldable reading glasses. They're the, they only had the 1.5 strengths. I don't know if they make other strengths, but that's all there was, and there were quite a lot. And what these are, they're, they're little eyeglasses for those of us who need reading glasses. And they come in this little, okay, look, it's like a credit card. It's thin like a credit card. These pull out of this little pocket here. And of course you would remove the little sticker here that, can you see that? And you just clip these on your nose so you have reading glasses. So if you're like so many times, you know, leave the house, going to a restaurant, you gotta read the menu and you don't have your reading glasses. Well imagine you could stick this in your wallet like men and women, this fits in your wallet. So you always have a little pair of reading glasses with you, just in case you forget your actual glasses. So I just thought these are awesome. So I picked a few up because um, several of us in our family need to wear glasses for reading. And so I just thought these would be really, really practical to have. Plus, I just thought these would make the great little gifts, great stocking stuffers, thinking ahead. And these are $2.50 each. And seriously, that's worth it. It's worth to pay $2.50 to have something so convenient. So I found that and I was really happy about that. And of course, you know I can't go to Dollarama without checking all the crafty stuff, right? Because that's... that's my favorite thing. I went there primarily for the gardening stuff and I didn't get as much as I wanted because I'm a little late in the season but uh, man they had brand new stuff in the craft section so I was really happy about that. Let me show you what I found. Uh, first thing I found was the crafts mini ink pads and there's one two three four six little ink pads, mostly uh, primary colors, yellow, pink, green, blue, purple, and black. 
and this was a dollar fifty. I am not saying that these are the best high quality inks, but for a, a portable kit or just to have extra ink pads, I'm going to have to say they don't specify if this is dye or pigment ink. I'm going to guess it is dye ink. We have to tell it's it they're not they don't specify what type of ink these are but we'll assume that it's just regular dye ink and um yeah so dollar fifty a couple other things i had seen these a couple times i went into the dollaramas and i never picked them up but i thought i should pick them up because i got an idea for how i would use these uh is the photo garland whereby you have six like frames with a string and some clothespins so you can frame some photographs and hang them from uh, a clothespin line for, for decorative purposes. So, and they have them in a craft, this uh, white and black. So um, the, the store I went to only had craft and black left, but I just wanted the craft ones and I got two of those. So again, these were $2 for the little kit. Now, uh, in a previous Dollarama haul, I showed you some fabrics I had found, a little linen sheets that are 18 inches square. And at this Dollarama, I saw some that I hadn't seen at the other one, so I picked them up too. So this one is a Paris theme. And I thought of my friend, Tina, who loves Paris. And I just think this is really, really lovely. Still not sure what I'll make with these, but uh, I had to get them because I love that. I love these. And <clears throat> this one is another uh, French, not really French, but this one is more French country, spelled wrong. <laughs> And uh, so it's just, you know, vintage looking advertisements uh, on this linen. And this one also is kind of a mix of English and French and about sewing and gardening. So that's right up my aisle. And another one with some postage stamps, keys, uh, Eiffel Towers, little doilies very vintagey so I got those I picked up a few more of the tough and clear in the five by eight this store had uh, quite a lot of these so I got I think I got eight more they are still four for a dollar or 25 cents a piece and I picked up these styrofoam balls wondering if they would be the right size for a project I had in mind and I was hemming and hawing in the store and thinking would these work would these work and I just thought well I better just take them in case it does work and if it doesn't work then I'll know and I won't buy too many and I got home and yeah they are too big for what I had intended to use them for so I'll have to come up with some other project for these uh, do you do that does that happen to you that you go into the store and you see something and you're like oh I could do this with it and then you get home and you really realize it's not gonna work this is not the right size or whatever yeah it, it happens to me every once in a while so but that's okay I'll have to um, save this for another project and these are a dollar fifty for these two styrofoam balls sorry they don't say on here what the diameter is but here's my hand here's <laughs> But they are and they had much bigger ones too you know what could i could do with these i could probably cover these with those glass pebbles and make some like gazing balls for the garden that might be fun all right um i picked up these heart stickers these had just gotten to that dollarama i was at i saw some other people haul these and i thought they were very pretty so i'm happy that uh, the dollarama i was at had I just put these out so I picked up uh, two of the very light pink and one of the darker pink and I'm sorry I forgot to tell you these are a dollar fifty for each of these little lacy sticker hearts 
they're real like fabric lacy things now I got some stickers and they had a whole bunch of these gel stickers and it, it looked very retro and you know? they were very like bright colors and rainbows and shooting stars <laughs> and I picked up two of these because I like the variety I like the little the dots these are all raised gel shiny dots and I like the uh, the the swirls here I just thought these might be something I could use in some pretty card making or some sort of project so I got these each one is a dollar 25 for these gel stickers they're really really shiny and sparkly and jelly uh, I'll, the, another thing that I had not seen at the Dollarama I usually go to were the rhinestone strips of stickers. The rhinestone, yeah, the rhinestone strips, um, they're just really, really pretty. And I love the vintage look. I thought this was my favorite. I just, I love how this looks. It's very vintage looking. And so I got a few of these ones. And these are $2 a piece. And there were so many different styles, but this is what... I limited myself to and I don't know what I'll do with it but I knew I had to have this in my stash uh, some other fabrics that they have at Dollarama is a, a fabric sheet this is just a plain natural I don't know if it's a cotton it doesn't say if it's a cotton we'll say it's a cotton like a linen or a poly cotton just uh, a nice white sheet that's good for you know making napkins for doing some stitching project or whatever and this is 20 by 16 inches and it's a dollar 25 so it's nice to get small pieces of fabric if you want to collect them for quilt making or you just need a little bit of fabric for a craft project other things that are new uh, to me and I think they're new to this dollar marama are these craft felt sheets and they have these pretty pale colors so in here there's uh, this light pink there's this nice tan color and I think there's like cream inside anyway there's how many sheets are there there are five sheets in here and I just thought what a nice switch from those bright colors so this is great when you want to make you know little dolls and you want to make like the inside of ears of animals these uh, are great colors for that now finally the, the last thing I have to show you and it's a crafty item again are the burlap sheets I know that this is a pretty good deal these are already cut for you you don't have to go through the trouble and the mess of cutting burlap into 12 inch squares um, and these are a dollar fifty for three of these 12 inch square sheets of burlap so i'm thinking this is great for a scrapbook page uh, background um, great for a stitching project like i show here great for all sorts of crafty diy i forgot this um these are mini chalkboard clipboards so they're little tiny clipboards and they come on a ball they come on ball chain so and there's three in here so you can dangle these and these are you can make key keychains out of these and these are a dollar 25 for a package of three yes. and that's it for this dollarama haul I hope you uh, enjoyed it. If you did, I would so appreciate a thumbs up. Please like, comment, and share because uh, when you give me a thumbs up and you give comments, it's uh, really good for uh, the YouTube algorithm. So, and that helps support the channel and it helps uh, support me to continue doing these free content videos for you. Uh, so thanks again, stay crafty. I'll see you later. Bye.